Good job. As children get older, they run into new and more difficult words as they read. Being able to break these words into smaller parts, called syllables, can help them pronounce and understand the words. This tip sheet introduces the idea of syllables, including those that come at the beginning of a word, prefixes, and those that come at the end, suffixes. Good job. Words are made up of one or more syllables or units of sound. For example, word has one syllable, word. Spelling has two syllables, spell ing. Computer has three syllables, computer. When children break words into syllables or smaller parts, they can often figure out how to pronounce the parts and then blend them back into a word they know. Breaking words into syllables can help children read, spell, and write new words. Children often need to practice these skills many times before they get good at seeing the syllables and putting them together to make a word. So we're going to play this game here. Can you tell me what this is? Magnet. This one? Rabbit. Window. Turtle. Spider. Snowman. Table. And backpack. Good. How many syllables did they have? Two. Two. So we've got to cut out these and then we will find the words, the syllables that match the word, okay? Can you cut it out, please? Start by having your child cut out the syllable picture game one cards. Tell him that the cards have different syllables on them. He's going to find two syllables to create a word that matches a picture on the picture sheet. Spread the syllable cards face up on the table. Give your child the game one picture sheet and have him start with the first picture. Okay, so the first word, what is it? Magnet. And magnet. Good job. Next word? Rabbit. Have him say the syllables while making the word. Do the same thing with the other picture card. All of the game one words have two syllables. Next one. That one, look again. <laughs> Can't read upside down, huh? <laughs> you can check the syllable game one parent answer sheet. Good job. Once your child has the hang of the game, try syllable picture game two. These words all have three syllables. Okay, Nella, now it's your turn to play the syllable game. Um, what's this word? Ladybug. How many syllables? Three. Good. Hamburger. Good. Volcano. Good. Have fun as you search for the syllables that go together. Ladybug. Lay the book. Good job. News paper. Good job. Next one. Poor. You can check the syllable game too. Parent answer sheet. Good job. Next last one. Elephant. Good job. by having your child cut out the first syllable cards for the syllable share game one and put them in a stack face down on the table. Next, have her cut out the game one final syllable cards and put them on the table face up. Okay guys, so we're playing the game now. These are the final syllables. These are the beginning. So I want you to take the first one and go around and you're gonna find two words using the beginning and the last syllable. Bay, let's see. Bay, bye. Now read it again. 
Favorite. No, this one. This one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Good job. Good job, kick it. Next one. Baker. Is that a word? No. Mm -hmm. Baker. Is that a word? <laughs> Good job. Have her continue putting the first syllable in front of the other cards until she has made two words with the card. Perk. No. Person. No. <laughs> Person. What a word. No. Per stand. No. Per or. No. Per per. No. Perfect. No. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> the last one. Keep Order. playing until all the syllable word? cards are gone. Orbit. Yes. Good job. Okay, guys. So we're going to play the same game we just played, but this time you have to find three words for the beginning syllable. So here's all the ending syllables, and Canela, you can start with the first syllable. For a more advanced yeah. game, follow the same steps using the syllable share game two cards. In game two, three words will be formed with each first syllable. Outline? No. Outlaw? No. Yes. Outlaw. Outlaw. Fugitive. Canela, we're going to talk about prefix and suffix. Do you know what a prefix is? Um, it ch changes the meaning of word. And where does it l fall in the word? In the beginning. Okay. By fourth and fifth grade, children need to learn about common prefixes and suffixes. While reading, they may see a word they know with a prefix in front of it, such as unhappy. If they learn that the prefix un means not, they can figure out that unhappy means not happy. They also will be able to figure out other words beginning with the prefix un, such as undone, unlucky, and unreal. The same is true for suffixes that add a syllable after words they know, such as helpless, careless, and painless. Okay, patients, we are going to play prefix, go fish. Do you know what a prefix is? The beginning of a word. Perfect. The compound. beginning of a word that is compound. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make sure we each have five cards. And we're going to try to get all four of the prefixes. And you have to ask me if I have it. Have so, your child cut apart the prefix go fish word cards. Point out that each word on the card has a prefix. Shuffle them and deal five cards to your child and five cards to yourself. Put the others in a stack face down. Okay, good. I have miss, as in misspell. Do you have any miss? Thank you. Oh, just one, just one. Thank you. Okay. All right. Go ahead, patient. Do you have any uns? Like U N. Like what word? Unlock. Oh, I do. I have unwrap. Good job. Okay. I'm gonna go for another miss because now I have mismatch. Do you have miss? Misbehave. Okay. So let me see. Misbehave mismatch, misspell, and misuse. That's a lot. Go ahead. Do you have any um, 
uns and like unclear. I do have another un, like unable. Say the words as you put them down. Unable, uh -huh. unwrap, unlock, unclear. Um, do you have any dis, like dislike? Disarm. Oh, disarm. Good job. Do you have any previews? <laughs> like preview? Let's see what we have. I have disarm, dislike, disable, and dishonest. I have preschool, preview, preheat, and pregame. Good job. Okay, Vaughn, we're going to play suffix go fish. Do you know what a suffix is? Uh, yes. What is it? Uh, it's the ending of word, compound word. Excellent. Okay, let's try it out. So I'm gonna play again, but this time use the suffix go fish cards. Point out that each word in this set of cards has a suffix. Follow the same rules as in the prefix go fish game. Look at all your words, see if you have any in common. Okay. Do you want to ask first or do you want me to? Okay, go ahead. Do you have any bowl? Like what? Like powerful. Oh, I don't. Go fish. Did you get a full? I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, do you have a lee like badly? Any leaves? Oh, thank you. Proudly. What word is this? Proudly. Proudly. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, do you have any errs? <gasps> I do have an err. I have smaller. Wait, How many errs do you have now? Four. Oh, good. Show me which ones. Blacker, near, Cooler Ooh. and smaller. Excellent. Draw your last card. Have your child cut apart the prefix cards and the word cards. Remind her that prefixes are the common syllables that come at the beginning of words. A word. So you have to match the prefix with the word. Each time she makes a new word, ask her how the prefix changes the meaning of the original word. Let's take im. What do you think im goes with? Impossible. So, what does possible mean? You can do it. Mm -hmm. What about impossible? You can't do it. Hmm. So it's kind of... Opposite. That's what I think. Okay, let's see un. What do you think un goes with? Unlock. Okay. What does the word lock mean? Uh, you lock the door. Okay, and? Unlock means you open the door. Perfect, okay. Um, let's do re. What do you think re goes with? Remake. Uh-huh. Make means you make, um, you do something, and then remake means you have to do it again. Yeah, so that's not really opposite this time, is it? Mm -hmm. That's kind of funny. Okay, let's do... Then cut apart the suffix cards and play again. This time, take one suffix card and see if she can put it after a word that makes sense. Let's try... Full. Ask what her to tell you what happens to the meaning of the word Works when you add it. that <laughs> suffix. Peaceful. Peaceful. So what does the word peace mean? Uh, quiet and so calm. Calmness, good. And what about peaceful? Kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of describing someone or something, don't you think? Yeah. Ness. Ness goes with ill. Mm -hmm. Illness. Illness. Ill means you're sick. Illness means kind of the same thing. Yes, you have an ill. Have an or, ill or, or an sick. illness. <laughs> if you and your child enjoy these activities, tell your child's teacher. The teacher may have more ideas to share for learning fun at home. 
If your child is having a hard time with these activities, you can also talk to your child's teacher. There may be another tip sheet or other activities to help. Good job. Give me five. Nice.